guys, this is Marilyn, and welcome to another Pokemon Black and White 2 Wi-Fi battle. Today, I had a battle versus Jonah Riot, and I've already had a battle against him before. Maybe you remember from the tournament I've told you about before, and um, we did another battle just for fun. Um, actually, this wasn't a new battle, and we did a new battle because of a weird coincidence because um, well when we did the tournament battle uh, at the same day I was thinking of making a team with a Lunatone in it and the day um, after we had that battle he also told me that he wanted a, uh, a team with a, a Lunatone in it it was just the weirdest coincidence ever because I've never heard anyone talk about Lunatone before and that's actually the reason why I wanted to use it because nobody actually um, used the Lunatone, so that was really funny. Anyway, I just picked some really weird and new Pokemon, some P Pokemon you would never use. Um, actually, this is yet another Trick Room team, because I I actually like Trick Room. It's just fun to use, and um, well, I, I just love the Pokemon in, that are slow. <laughs> Anyways, lead off with my Muck, I switch into my Lunatone, he has his Armaldo, he set us up the rocks, which was pretty obvious. I set up my own rocks, kind of forgetting that he um, has a rapid spin as well. He toxics me, which sucks even more, so I can't really use this Lunatone for too long, because, well, I can't really do anything to the Armaldo. Actually, this Lunatone is just to set up the trick room and he already rapid spins my uh, rocks away and I didn't really want to set up uh, the rocks again because he would probably rapid spin them away which is not very great um, but yeah poison's racking up and I just want to see if the, the um, ice beam would do more but it doesn't do that much more and I'm slowly dying because of his, um, what did he do, stone edge and I got the poison racking up and I just thought let's just go for the um, trick room because he'd probably go for another attack he didn't go for an attack though which really sucks because I'm wasting a trick room turn right now which is not that great but um, thank god he's going to attack me in the next turn I would probably die in the next turn anyway because of the freaking poison so I die, uh, but the trick room is up, which is really great for me. Um, and what I'm going to do now is going to send in my Kraken, my Octillery, and this thing is just a freaking awesome Pokemon in the trick room. Uh, I just go for the Surf. It's an expert bell Pokemon, by the way, which actually quite effective on this um, Octillery. It even kills the Armaldo. He sends in this Altaria. Um, it's specially defensive. Still, I'm not very sure why I would send them in because probably do quite a lot. I wasn't really sure which kind of movie he was going to use, but I kill him anyway, so that's absolutely great. Um, I go for a Surf, and Surf does over half, but does not kill, unfortunately. He goes for a Poison Jab, and that also does a lot to me, because Octillery isn't really that bulky, and the Trick Room uh, is gone right now, so I can't really stay in, because otherwise I will die, so I will switch out into my Muck, and Muck will... I thought it would do some stuff, even though it has only Brick Break a Poison Jab. But um, he goes for the Coil, so now my Muck can do anything at all, because it doesn't really have any attack investment. So I switch out once again into my Audino, and actually this thing can do anything as well. Um, so I was actually just hoping that it could set up the Trick Room again, so it can um, send in another sweeper because I want to sweep this um, as a viper away um, I thought the first EQ was max damage because it did uh, quite a lot and it indeed was max damage because now I survived the hit uh, which is really great because now I set up the trick room and now I'm just freaking awesome like that I go for the wish because there wasn't really much else I could do he goes for another coil um, which was just to annoy me, I'm not really sure, but I couldn't really do anything right now with my Audino. I'm just wasting um, Trick Room turns, so I'm just going to switch out here and my Audino will get the Regenerate the HP back, which is even more awesome. And I just let my Kraken die because I was pretty sure it would go for an attack right now. So fortunately my Tethery dies, but 
that's quite all right because now I can send in another slow but awesome Pokemon that almost nobody uses. Um, Heatmore. Heatmore is just a cool Pokemon. Unfortunately, it's a bit slow, but that's why I have the Trick Room up, so it can be um, quick and uh, powerful. So I killed the Survivor, which was just being annoying all the time. So I'm glad I got that out of the way. Um, he has his Electro, I go for the Flamethrower again, and unfortunately he does not kill, and that really sucks because now he goes for the Hyper Beam, and that was just a freaking cool attack, I, I really like that. Um, but yeah, he he's killing me with this uh, Hyper Beam, but now he has to rest one turn, so I have a free turn to kill him, which is great because the Trick Room is gone, and I'm very slow. So it's just a bit of improvising here, hopefully I won't die, <laughs> because being slow is not really great. He sends in his Ladian, and Ladian is actually a really cool Pokemon, I had an icon of him a couple of months ago, I think around December or something. Um, but yeah, he U-turns out, and I go for the Teeter Dance, because that's what Bellasm can learn. Which actually a uh, great move, um, just same as Confuse Ray, it's just to annoy the opponent actually. Um, I want to go for the Giga Drain on Lunatone, but he switched out again, and it's a crit. It's a game changing crit, as you can see. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I just stay in and be annoying, because Balasm can do that much. It's not a sword to dance Balasm, it's just the annoying Balasm <laughs> I kind of made the set myself. Um, he just tries to hit me and it's not really working that well. I'm not really sure if it's Choice Band or something else. I'm not really sure what the Ladian is because Ladian has a 35 base um, attack and it does actually quite a lot on my Pokemon. So I'm guessing it's Choice Bandit. I'm not really sure. But um, I just go for the Hidden Power Fire and it does quite a lot. So I just keep going for that because Ladian is getting annoying right now for my poor poor Balossum and I kill him with the hidden power fire so the only Pokemon that's left is Lunatone and that Lunatone can be quite dangerous because it is a um, life orb Lunatone with um, dangerous moves like Ice Beam and has the Psychic as well so I was kind of afraid because I have a Mach left, which does not like the Psychic, and the Audino, which is specially defensive. So I was hoping I would um, lift this hit, so I could um, Toxic him, and thank god I do, because I <laughs> I don't know, I always get so lucky with living hits. I, I'm not really sure what that is, it's a thing of mine, which is really cool. I'm not complaining, <laughs> at least. Uh, he goes for another Psychic, which obviously takes me down. Um, I only have the Mach left, and the Mach only, only um, thing I could do with it is um, Brick Break. So that's the thing I'm going to do. He's going for Psychic, and Psychic does well a lot, but it does not kill. So I was really happy. And I just go for the Brick Break, see how much that will do, uh, including the poison damage. And that's actually enough to take him down. So thanks to my luckiness with the um, my Arduino, I survived um, this match. I barely survived um, because, well, I was just lucky. I, I think I uh, he would have won instead. But... Um, it was a really cool match, really close and really awesome, and we both used pretty cool Pokemon, in my opinion. <laughs> Thank you so much for the battle, Jonah, and you guys, please check out his channel in the description, because he told me he would upload his site, I'm not really sure if he's uploaded it yet. I haven't checked it yet, but please check out his channel, and I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!